product that I was for sure coming in ready to hate. Hi you guys, welcome back to The Clean Beauty Code. I'm very excited for today because we're talking about a new brand. And the brand we're talking about today is the brand Merit. Merit Beauty. We're doing a Merit Beauty review. And I'm very excited because they have some really interesting looking products and I was very intrigued and I was like, hold up, let me grab a few. Let me look at this pigmentation. Is it all that in a bag of chips or is it a flop? I like needed to know because I was so intrigued also by the packaging and how kind of cool and luxe, but also minimalist it looked like it was very aesthetically pleasing so it grabbed me a few products the products i definitely thought you would have the most questions on i don't have two products i don't have the lip oil thingy and i don't have the highlighter so if that is something that you want me to talk about let me know down below um, so yeah let's jump in and get started so if you're excited for this video and more videos like this then please like and subscribe it's so helpful when people do that and without further ado let's jump in and talk about merit beauty all right, you guys, I'm very excited. So first things first, I feel like the first product I wanna talk about is their foundation. So when I started testing this, I was very interested to see what the deal is. The one thing I will say is this cap, honey, this cap is so hard to take off. So the shade I have is the shade buff. Another thing I wanna say, it was definitely user error, but I was holding it upside down because this container, it's hard to see which is the top or bottom if you can tell. And the top is the one that has the logo. Okay, just know that because if you open it upside down, which I had done, the product can fall out. And that's just me being dumb and I wasn't paying attention, but that did happen. So I just want to note that it can happen. But this is the container um, and this is what it looks like. And the shade I wear, again, I don't know if I said that, so I'm gonna say it again, is the shade Buff. Now, this is a really interesting formula and I wanna talk about it. So this formula, you can apply it to the face. I just kind of apply it in stripes to the face and then I blend it out. And the way that I like to blend it out is with this brush here. So this is the, what is it? A Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe number seven. This is the brush that I like to apply it with. This is a double-ended brush. This just blends foundation out so beautifully. Um, I don't necessarily love using a sponge with this, but you can and it's fine and it would look nice. Um, I also, you can use your fingers. A lot of people do it like that. That's fine too, but I just find using something like this kind of spreads it out really, really nicely. Now this is a two in one product. So when I noticed that they didn't have a concealer, I was like, girl, uh, why? Why do you hate us? But really, this is a two-on-one product and they say you can use this under the eyes. I'm demonstrating the foundation on my face for you today um, just so that you can see kind of how it sits. I've been wearing this for a couple hours now just so that you can see kind of like the oil. I haven't like done any powdering or anything like that. And it's really good. So I have it under my eyes as well. Now I'm gonna tell you that there is some voodoo magic in this because she don't crease under the eyes yep, 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 yep. she don't crease under the eyes now i'm the type of person that in general likes a lighter concealer under my eyes so if you're that person having one of these sticks like just would be annoying because you have to have two and if you don't want to buy two which is rightfully so you know there isn't that much product in this stick um the amount of product is what 0.13 ounces which can you hear that plane planes all day today honestly i've been trying to film for hours and the planes have been wild um that's not that much product so it, it's expensive for how much product you get but i I'm wearing it under my eyes today. I had, didn't add anything else underneath it. I didn't put powder underneath it to make it brighter. This is just what it looks like. And I actually really, really like it. Um, it feels when you first apply it to be slightly more drying. However, it's not, not drying. It's just a drier formula for what you would think sometimes with a stick. Um, oh my God, what's the word? foundation. If you've used the Westman um, foundation stick, this is a lot um, 
not dryer, because dryer is not the right word. Dry makes it sound like it's all types of cakey mess. It's just, it, that one, ha the Westman one has more slip. This one is just a little bit on the drier side, but that isn't a bad thing. It's just a formulation difference. Also, side note, I will be doing a review kind of on some of the Westman products um, for you guys later. But this is just a little bit drier um, when you apply it it blends out really really easy you don't need to have like oil on your face or like whatever you just need to be hydrated in general before you're applying foundation skincare is important and then when you apply it you just blend it out with a brush it can definitely cover your hyperpigmentation now some people say it doesn't cover it but i think the reason that people say that is they're not applying it the right way so the way i like to apply it again is i like to apply stripes all over my face take my brush do this. This is what I do. Blend it out. Blend her out, Sally. Like blend her out. And then when I see where I need more coverage, if it's a hyperpigmentation marks, which I definitely have right now, I have a couple on my face. I will take some of this, apply it to the dots just a little bit. Wait a second, take my finger and blend it out with my finger that you have to apply it like it's a concealer when you're doing that. If you apply it like it's a foundation and you're expecting it to be full coverage in that way, it's not gonna work for you. But this is a really beautiful product. I mean, you can see it on my face right now. Um, I'm gonna do a close up of just what it looks like, just swatched, but it is a really, really pretty, pretty product. And it makes the skin look super, super pretty. If you were an oily skin person throughout the day, it is going to get more oily, so if you powder it, you'll be fine. Like, it's not gonna feel super drying if you powder it, um, but you can definitely get oily throughout the day, but not like gross oily, just like a cute do. I really like this product. I'm actually super impressed. The fact that it does increase under the eyes is, again, witchcraft and wizardry, and I don't understand how they did it, but I'm so freaking impressed with that. Like, that to me is incredible. One downfall of this I will say is it clings to dry patches like if you have dry patches on your forehead this is a dry season you guys okay it's dry if you have dry patches on your forehead or around your nose or texture it is going to cling to that so that is just something to know if you are that type of person if that is your skin type then this is not going to be for you but for everyone else i will say that this is really nice and if you tend to be like super super oily as a person i would just say set it with a powder but it is a really nice product i really really like this okay next all right next i want to talk about the blush so this is the blush right here it comes in a little thing that kind of I, th I feel like a, another brand has a product like this i don't know what brand it is but another brand has a product like this like in this shape and this is just what it looks like so this is a nice product it has slip though the product i would say is the most similar to this in terms of consistency with like slip not necessarily thickness would be the kosas blush just because it's definitely more oil based this is super super nice you can apply it directly to your cheeks i wouldn't necessarily do that just because it's more greasy greasy is not the right word you're not gonna look like a piece of chicken like fried chicken that's not gonna happen but like it has more oil in it um so then it can take off the foundation underneath what i like to do is take a brush like this this is just like the sephora 93 this is by far one of my favorite blush brushes. I also like to use the Sephora blush brush in 96, and I also have 99. I have all the blush brushes, I'm obsessed. Um, Sephora blush brushes are super, super good. But I take something like this and I just kind of touch the top and just apply it to my cheeks that way and it just looks seamless and beautiful and buffs it up super buffs it up buffs it out super super nice it's really really good um and gives you like a beautiful youthful glow to the face now if you're concerned with it falling and slipping and sliding all, all over the face you can set the top of it with a little bit of powder um with this one i don't love powder underneath it which if you've watched this channel before you know that i tend to like to use powder underneath um super slippy blushes to make them stay longer this one just kind of looks a little bit funky when you do that so i would suggest powdering on top of it this is a really really good one now if you want a suggestion for a powder to use on top of it um i haven't reviewed this yet on this channel but the ilia powder is a good one this definitely also if you like apply too much because there's ones with more pigmentation than this one the one i have i don't think i said is the shade Be beverly hills um 
if you applied too much, this is a good way to tone it down. Um, I'm also gonna be talking about this versus the new Kosas powder that came out just so that you have a point of comparison. Although they're slightly different because this one is a loose powder and the other one is not just so that you have a point of comparison because I know people compare that brand a ton. Um, but yeah, this is a really, really good blush. I actually really like it. And for me, without setting it at all throughout the day wearing it, um, it looked nice throughout the day. It didn't wear off super patchy and it lasted super long, although I didn't expect it to. It was really good. And I tested this on top of this foundation that I'm wearing on my face today, which is the Merit Beauty one and on top of other ones that I've liked. And I have found that it looks super nice all day big fan of this and the shade Beverly Hills is beautiful um and I didn't think I would like it but the one the shade I wanted was sold out so I was like oh whatever okay I'll get this one um but I actually really like this and I'm happy I went with this because I do love me a little bit of a peachy pink all right next next okay you know what let's talk mascara because mascara is what I'm wearing on my eyes today the Merit Beauty mascara you guys it's so good. Um, this mascara shook me to my knees, to my face, back up to my knees, to the ceiling, to my neighbor's yard. This shook me. So good. Let me tell you, lashes look good all day. Flaking, we don't know her. Volume, we got her. A little bit more of a subtle lash with one coat, we have that as well. No freaking fall down under the eyes. No running. We have that too. And when I wear th this foundation underneath my eyes, I don't necessarily always like to set it just because like, uh, sometimes powder underneath the eyes can just feel like a cakey hella mess and it's dry as heck you know, right now. So like adding more powder to dry things out more just stresses me out, but I don't necessarily powder this. Um, I've powdered it and it's fine, but I don't powder it and then I'll wear this and there's no running anything. Last freaking all day, curl held all day. Like this is, I, I just wanna say, I'm, oh jeez, a mess. I just want to say, I have been testing a ton of new mascaras lately, and out of all the mascaras, even my tried and true favorite love of life, the Ilia mascara, can I just say something? She she might have outperformed her. I said what I said. I know. I know, I can't believe it myself. It's just, it's so, so good. It's like a waterproof mascara without being waterproof and it doesn't like make your eyelashes fall out, but it just looks beautiful all freaking day. I'm going to do a new mascara video where I kind of, I'm testing a couple of new mascaras and I wanna compare those to the ones I've already talked about. So again, you as a consumer can make a decision based off of that information, but this is a really, really good one. And I highly recommend if you're the type of person that is always like, oh my God, mascara is everywhere. Like you're just running a river of mascara. This is a good one to definitely check out. Um, I'm super, super impressed. And I honestly, this is the product that I would, oh, just hit myself in the mouth. This is the product that I was for sure coming in ready to hate. In general, when it comes to clean beauty mascara, I'm very picky. So I just kind of was like, okay, sure. We'll see if you'll be good, but really, really good. And then the last product I have, brows. Now, I love a brow gel, and I feel like in general, I do have darker eyebrows and thicker eyebrows, or I feel like I have thicker eyebrows. You guys are probably like, girl, you barely have brows. What are you talking about? But I always love a brow gel because I feel like it just puts my brows in place, looks nice, and if I don't wanna fill them in, I can just take the, like, brush and just fill in my brows that way. I do that a lot. This is a nice one because it holds your brows in place. It definitely gives them a little bit of oomph, 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 but it's not over the top where it's like, sweetie, what happened to your brows? <laughs> Why are you wearing caterpillars on your face? It doesn't do that. It looks really nice. It's subtle, but not. It does an incredible job. It doesn't crunch um, or give you that weird gel feeling on your brows, but it doesn't not give you that like gel feeling on your brows. Like it doesn't necessarily feel like a pomade. Um, the consistency is really nice. So I always, with brow products in general, unless I'm going clear or soap brow like style, 
I go with the darkest color always. There's never been a time where going with a lighter brow color ever looked good because it looks so unnatural on me because my eyes are super dark in color. Like I basically don't have pupils. Like it's just like dark as all get out. Um, you can't even see my pupils or, and like my hair is super dark. And I just feel like in general, my coloring just doesn't suit a lighter brow because every, like all my features tend to be on the darker side. So I love a dark color and this dark color, she don't skew red, which I like because in general, not always, not always. I feel like I always say this and then like recently I've been finding a lot of good brow products that like don't skew red, but they skew red, I don't know why. But th this one doesn't, this is nice. I really, really like it. I feel like it holds my brows in place. Now, is this the best brow gel I've ever used in my entire life? No, but it's a really good one. Like I would say it's on par with the ones that I love. It is a really good one. Highly recommend checking it out. If we, if I had to pick a favorite product out of all, okay? Out of all the products I'm talking about today, I'm going to say my favorite product is the mascara. The mascara is so freaking good. Um, actually, you know what? It's tied because anything that doesn't crease under my eyes, because I have creasy under eyes, you guys, it's it's a tie here, but I will say just, I feel like with mascara in general, I have what a lot of people have sometimes where I'm just like, why is there mascara everywhere? So this might etch this out ever so slightly. This is really good. Um, I would love to know, have you tried Mary Beauty? If you have, what products have you tried? And let me know what you think. Cause I'd love to know, have you experienced that too? Have you not experienced creasing under the eyes? Um, what are your thoughts on the mascara? tell me the other products are really good but these two right here are definitely the standouts they're super super good um i'm really excited to see what else they come out with in the future because i will definitely be trying more of their products as they continue to kind of expand their line but yeah that's it for this video thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one bye guys